Hi everyone, so here is my return to YouTube. <laughs> I'm coming back with a soft glam tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. He's so cute. I just can't deal. Oh my God, I don't even know if my mic's on. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, this is my cat, Axie or Axel, this is actual name. Um, and today I'm just doing this very simple makeup look. Um, I'm gonna put him down. He's falling asleep again. So I'm a bit scared, I won't lie. I'm really hoping that this goes well and it's useful, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade called Tan and I'm covering up all of my scars. Never blend out your concealer straight away. Let it sit, let it dry down for a while. And while that's happening, I do my eyebrows. I use a precisely my brow in the shade five and just kind of follow my eyebrow shape that I've made. Okay, so next step, I use the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 15 and I love to carve up my eyebrows with this underneath only. Um, and I use a really detailed flat brush for this because I feel like it's a lot nicer when your brows look snatched and I love my brows to look perfect. Like, I just can't deal with messy brows, right? So I'm very detailed and I take my time. I feel like brows take me the longest. Um, how long do your brows take? Just, I'm wondering, can someone tell me in the comments? Um, so yeah, now I go ahead and use my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I use the shade Tahoe. This shade is so amazing. Oh my god. I used to walk around looking like a ghost until I found this foundation. Actually, that's kind of a lie. Fenty saved me for a while, but this was just amazing. Um, and now we're using this palette. I don't remember what it's called. I might just on the screen. And these are the colours I'm playing with. I'm not necessarily using all of them, but that's the kind of palette I'm into. For a lot of this eyeshadow application, I covered my own face. <laughs> I'm out of practice. I'm so sorry. Um, if you guys actually want to know the order and stuff like that, I can remake the style look for you. But anyway, so we've applied a mixture of those shades I showed you. And now I'm using the same Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 15 and I'm just carving out um, like a cut crease. I've realized that while I was filming so much of this video, I was either covering my hands or I wasn't showing you the products. I really apologize. If you have questions, please ask me down below and I'll answer. Okay, so I'm just using a very flat brush. This is from Peaches and Cream, it's amazing. Um, and I'm dabbing on this Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder in the shade Light Medium, just to set like the concealer. And then I always do a small line of eyeliner before I apply my eyelashes. I just find it helps when I stick on the lash band. Um, it just helps them to blend a little bit more. And again, yes, I did it again. I covered my eyes when I was putting on my eyelashes. So again, if you guys want this eye look and just the eye look, please let me know and I will re-record it. And now we're back, we're doing the skin, so we're starting the base. This is like my favorite stage of makeup. Um, so I always put like two tiny dots of foundation on and blend it out from the center of my face outwards. And then I'm using the same um, Too Faced Place concealer in the shade 15, and I'm just blending it with that small detail brush I use underneath my eyebrows as well. Um, so essentially the whole of my eye area, the base of that was built using the same tone of concealer. I feel like that's really important because you want everything to blend and flow into each other. Um, and also I love to use this other brush by Peaches and Cream. I think it's a PC17. Again, I'll write the brushes on the screen, but I blend this out down my nose and drag it up in like a triangle shape. If you're someone that really loves a full face of makeup and you love a good contour, you do not need a lot of product. And I promise you, I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you if you use less, it will blend so seamlessly and it will look a lot more natural. Obviously makeup is not natural. We're putting it on our face because we want to look different. That's the whole point of makeup. But if you want an easy life and you still want a full face and you want it to look seamless, just use a little bit less and build up slowly. I'm a firm believer that not every single product in your kit has to be expensive. So my foundation, I would say is quite expensive, um, but you will not catch me spending a lot of money for contour. I use Conceal and Define in the shade F12, and then I just blend it into my forehead, and there we go, you see? It's blended, I've got a contour on. The amount of powder you use, as well as the placement, is really important. I use a small amount underneath my eyes, I press this in first with a flat brush, and then I go on top with another layer, just to kind of bake under my eyes, and I go just on the sides of my contour lines on my nose as well, and I let it sit there while I finish up doing other things on my face. 
Oh my gosh, don't get me started on these smile lines. I have the worst smile lines because I smile so much. I have to put powder on around my smile line. So again, I use the same technique that I'm doing here. I press it into my smile lines and then I put a small layer on top just so that my natural oils can still come through, but I don't look crazy. And then I'm now using, I think the shade is called Lida by Morphe. This is a bronzer. So as I mentioned, I don't use a lot of powder because I set my contour with my bronzer. That's just what I do. And then I go kind of in the middle of where my highlighter and my um, contour is with my blush. And that's what I just did really quickly. Wow. And then I do my lips here, just a normal brown lip liner. This is actually not lip liner. It's a eyeliner from like Auntie's Hair Shop. And then I'm using the shade 15 in Juvia's Place on my lip. This was so fun, but I do feel like I should re-record the eyes. Do you guys think I should re-record the eyes? should I of course of course of course my lip gloss ran out at this point so I had to scoop it out because I needed my gloss so don't judge me for this <laughs> don't judge me here's the finished look I hope that you guys enjoyed it again if you want the eye tutorial please let me know thanks for watching this is superstar say bye